Okay. Again, my memory card will go. It'll take 10 or more videos of a half hour long each, but it will only go a half an hour and I have to reset it. There's got to be an answer to that. Okay, picking up where I left off. Would he be attractive in uh, part 8? This is chapter 21, verse 9. Uh, part 9. Would he be attracted to the Jewish people? Not at all. But if he comes from a Christian country with God to Israel and converts Orthodox to Judaism and becomes an Israeli citizen, the answer is yes. That's the appearance that is appalling. No charm, no form, all that. It's because Isaiah 53 describes a Gentile. And that's, this, this video's on that and it's in the book that God wrote. Or I tied and he told me what to type. And Jesus, of course, being a Jew, can't be the man of Isaiah 53, period. And he cannot be the Messiah. Cannot be Moshe of Isaiah 11. Because he does not come from the stump of Jesse. He comes from the fell ancestral tree of the kings of Judah that God banished from ever ruling over Judah again from Jerusalem. Fell tree. It's the only ancestral tree we got. And it's the only explanation for why uh, Moshe come is a twig from the stump of Jesse. It's the only explanation you can find. And that can't be Jesus. He comes from the line of the kings of Judah. They, say, they start out with it on the first page of the New Testament in the book of Matthew. Verse 3. This is Rashi in his Bible. Despised and rejected by men. I don't know if you people, the Jewish people ever thought about these words. This is their Moshiach. And, and I almost get the impression they think he's going to be some deeply religious man um, that's kind of like Jesus was. Nice to everybody. This and that. Well, I bring the reckoning on the rabbis and the wrath on Christianity and Gentiles in general. Primarily Christianity. You know, God's not taking all the fire out of my spirit. <laughs> what does that word? It's an angel. Oh, furiousness of my spirit. I don't know if that's a word. Uh, lately, God, me talking to God face to face like Moses did, friend to friend, he directs me where to look in the room. And it does change, but primarily it's upper left, 10, 15 feet away, I guess. And the, the spirit is generally on my left, but right these days on the video, he's right over here. Despised and rejected by men. Now you tell me that's Jesus Christ. Again, you got to see chapter 22. A man of pains and accustomed to illness. And as one who hides his face from us. And we held him of no account. Rashi. Despised and rejected by men. That's a Midrash commentary. Was he? So is the custom of the prophet he mentioned of Israel as one man. This prophet he mentions all Israel as one man. I, I don't know what he's talking about. Fear not, my servant Jacob. That's chapter 44, verse 1, and chapter 44, verse 2 for the prior sentence. And now, hearken, Jacob, my servant, hear too. Okay, this is 52, 13. Behold, my servant shall prosper. Are y'all getting this here? Look what you're seeing. They claim to be the righteous servant, all Jews. And I guess to this day, whenever this, these events happen, and of course they could only happen at Oreb, and in Jerusalem at the building of the second temple. My servant. 
my servant, my servant. Never does he say my uh, uh, righteous servant. Neither does Jews for Judaism in their commentary. They keep saying servant, servant, servant. They are the servant. But that's all God's ever called them. No, he calls me his righteous servant. The Gentile can't be Jewish. God comes from Gentile lands and of the Jews. None are with him. Well, God covers the earth. The only reason you know where God is is he's got a prophet like Moses. And he's within him and talking to him along with the angel of his presence. And I'm a Gentile. Well, I'm with him, and Jewish people can't be with him when he comes to Israel from Adam. Adam is said to be Christianity, Gentile lands. And no, who can believe what we have heard? See, nobody can believe that. What I see that I have never heard. That's from 52, chapter 52. That's what these words are about. They just... I don't know. They just think all day and try to come up with something that might fit. Behold, my servant shall prosper. He said concerning the house of Jacob. No. That's me. Something, something in Hebrew is an expression of prosperity. You see 1 Samuel 8. Chapter 18, verse 14. And David was successful in all his ways. Okay. All this coming from Rashi, you can find it at Shabbat.org under the tra their translation of the Hebrew Bible. And it also includes Rashi's commentaries in Hebrew and in English. If some of this is hard to follow or you want to check up on it or get the book, read the book. It's on the internet. And as commentary, uh, Midrash, and as one who hides his face from us. Because of their intense shame and humility, they were as one who hides his face from us with their faces bound up in concealment in order that we not see them. Who? He's doing it again. We. The Jewish people will not see them, the Jewish people. They're all hiding their faces from, from themselves. That's what he says. Like a plagued man who hides his face and is afraid to look. I don't think this happened, not according to Ezra and uh, Nehemiah. When the exiles, the 13 tribes, were gathered as one man. There's nothing about shame and humility in there. I think they were real proud to be building God's second temple. And as one, okay, here's my commentary. He was despised, shunned by a man, a man of suffering, familiar with the disease. As one who hid his face from us, he was despised. We held him of no account. And it is no question that it's happening today. Based on the number of people from Israel and the United States and Canada that have viewed these 50 films, over 140,000 views of 50 different videos. That's combining them. Um, but all I get are just harsh, critical comments. Just other comments from people who don't seem overly intelligent. I, it's almost as if they didn't even really watch the video. Their comments almost never have anything to do with the video itself. God says, uh, oftentimes as Christians, and just the title gets them so angry they want to say something ugly. And they did. Well, they don't say they're Christians, but that's the funny thing. Of all these critical comments, you go and look at their YouTube site, it'll say no information posted. They don't even have real pictures. They got, you know, a picture of something and not themselves. I don't know. Just looking for things to make them angry, I guess. Themselves angry. Okay, Midrash, despised, shunned by a man. 
Commentary. He will be despised and shunned and held of no account simply for declaring that he is the Lord's righteous servant, described in Isaiah 53. That's fact. Those are God's words, but that's fact. If you say it, I'm telling you, 66,000 followers of Toby is saying, and I don't know how many of Jews for Judaism, it could be a much greater number. They're such a big organization. But they teach this 53's Israel thing, and the people who are interested in 53 believe them. And that's what, they couldn't possibly have read their commentaries, which you'll see in chapters 23 and 24 of the book and on video. It's getting ready to be. I'm getting there. You can find them already. Uh, I'm just putting a, a cleaner version up there now, but they, they, they look pretty good right now. You can go look it up. Gentiles will despise and shun the man. Oh, wait a minute. I left something out. Just for declaring that he is the Lord's righteous servant, scribe in 53. Christianity, with God's wrath passed to them, which he's bringing it through me. I mean, I'm going to teach it to the Jewish people, and it's going to be up to them. But the biggest blow you can put to them is my little commentary on that. He can't be 53, and he can't be 11. And tell them why, and tell them that they believe. Those that I make righteous who follow me, they believe I am who I say I am. Something Jesus couldn't even get done with all those miracles. And the rabbis reckoned with and dismissed, which I don't think they have a clue of. I never hear them talk about it. When Moshiach's here, they're always saying, they pray, come Moshiach, come. Why? If anything, you're looking for Elijah. He's the messenger that clears the way for God. And when David comes, God has a reckoning with and dismisses the rabbis, the shepherds. It's in the Hebrew Bible. And appoints me. That's how you know they're together. Me, righteous servant Moshe, the only teacher he recognizes. And the only way a rabbi can get back in the good graces of God, be in right standing, and not be dismissed before him, they're going to have to teach this book. God's basically telling them, you're not going to the Jewish heaven, you're not going into the scroll of remembrance unless you teach this book, and you listen to my prophet. He said they never listen, and sometimes i got to get a little forceful with them. He is. He's just, it's like putting them in a headlock, okay? Jewish heaven, scroll of remembrance, are you going to listen to my prophet because I speak to him and the words that come from him are coming from me? Thus saith the Lord. What? <laughs> Who can believe what they heard? How about me? How can I believe it? It took a while to sink in. I was an atheist for 50 years when he finally spoke to me, came to me at birth, orchestrated my life. But I didn't know about it until I was 50 years old. And he did. He crushed me with disease, cancer, stage 4 cancer. This is Isaiah 53.10, this story. 53.10, fulfilled. God chose to crush him with disease. That he would offer himself for guilt and receive long life and see his children. Well, Jesus didn't get long life, didn't see his children, never offered himself for a guilt. That's the five refinement. He never went through it. Not from anything I've read. And I did. It's removed guilt. I'm going to make this, that's what the whole story's about. I was as lowly as these witnesses. In the first six verses, combined by quotes. The same ones that start out with, who can believe what, what we have heard are the same ones that say he was wounded for our sins. I was. But it was just to make me better, to knock some of the fury out of my spirit so that I could come to them, as I'm doing on this video, 
whoever they may be, of the Jewish people. And they become righteous and want to get back to synagogue and want to start studying the Bible, maybe even the Talmud. And I have a covenant of sin forgiveness with me. That's going to help me draw a lot of people once they start believing. Well, as again, all I get are critical comments. Uh, if anybody's believing, nobody has said, for instance, are you serious about all this? Anything. I mean, that would be pleasant compared to what I usually read. And this goes back to 52 with God's wrath passed to them, and the rabbis reckoned with and dismissed, shall see what has not been told to them, and behold, what they never have heard, and they will not like him. That's what all the verses 1 through 3 had been about. All these things... All this knowledge I have that comes from this book and God's teachings and God dictating it. Never heard of it before. See what has not been told to them. How about a Gentile righteous servant, Moshiach, Elijah, and prophet like Moses? That's never been told to anybody. It wasn't told to me until about three years ago. Or I guess it was five years ago. Gentiles will despise and shun the man who startles nations and silences their leaders for announcing that he is the anointed one that the Jewish people have been waiting for. Well, they were before Jews for Judaism and Toby Singer got started, I guess. And that Jesus cannot be the man described in Isaiah 53. The Jewish people will despise and shun him for the reason they expect have been taught that the anointed one is Jewish, not a Gentile, and the era of exaltation, redemption, and restoration that has been taught, I tell them, will not be occurring. And that's what God says. God says, I've never done anything like that. And Moshe, no man can go out and do those things. Perfect the world. It's just an absurdity. World exaltation, another absurdity. Two billion Christians are going to disavow Jesus. Two billion Muslims are going to disavow Allah and come to the Jewish people and say, you've been right about God all the time. Let us worship with you. Really? And they teach this. As I said, they should be dismissed. Till they get the, well, they need to learn this book and teach Judaism that's in the Hebrew Bible and based on God's words and not man's words, in particular Rambam. A man of suffering familiar with disease, Midrash, a section of a verse. God's righteous servant will be a man who has a life full of injuries and wounds, accustomed to illness and disease. And that's in the book, The Life of God's Righteous Servant. Who hid his face from us. Commentary. He was despised. We held him on no account. Okay. A man who is despised and held on no account is not going to go out amongst the Jewish people until the perception of him changes and he is asked to. You'd be asking God to come to Israel if they did. But they have to believe first. But you're not, this is the proof God gave me. He gave Moses three proofs. He's given me three proofs. Dictating to me two books of knowledge I couldn't possibly have. Any, any more than Moses could have had of the first five books of the Bible. Isaiah 53 finally explained properly. Because God leaves out the definition of the five refinements that we find in Ezekiel, which is the key to understanding 53. Now he did it on purpose. Be a teaching from me and knowledge from me that nobody else has. And you can find it in Job, in Jonah, in Ezekiel. What about the exodus with Moses? Oh, well, it's kind of an inference that he went through it there. But, uh, and of course, now you see that's what all those words are about. 
in Isaiah 53. Me and God. Me and the fire of finding. God uh, being like a sergeant at a boot camp for a cadet who wants to be a Navy SEAL or Green Bay Marine. Tough. But I'd take, I'd take that little regiment for however long it is in a heartbeat before going through the fire or finding again. Brutal. Brutal. That's the best I can do. Rashi says, because of their intense shame and humility, and I guess this was in Jerusalem, they, they wouldn't have been in order where they accepted God's covenant to be their God and they would be his people and follow his laws. They were as one who hid his face from us. There he's doing it again. They were. But it's them. He's talking to they. They were. The Jewish people as one man. Whereas one who hides his face from us. Makes absolutely no sense. With their faces bound up in concealment. In order that we not see them. Like a plagued man who hides his face and is afraid to look, which I've already gone over. When all, when have all of the Jewish people as one man been intensely ashamed of being Jews? They're a proud people. They always have been a proud people. Just because the Gentiles don't think of them as a proud people doesn't make it so. Far from it. When have they bound, covered their faces in concealment <laughs> that the people not see them. He would often, the world often secluded them in ghettos. But that is his share, shame, of, but that is the shame of the Gentiles, not God's people. And was not all of them. Yeah, any shame should be on the Gentiles. I'm telling you, they're very proud. And they're very they're, they're very proud of the Hebrew Bible, the book the Christians took from them. And I'll tell you, well, there's no question God knew they would. And in some respects, he wanted them to have it to learn some of his laws. But it has just caused too much grief to his people. I mean, they just, they, they can't stand the thought of it. Okay. Verse 4. Rashi. I did say 4. Yeah, that's about all I'm going to be able to get done. For now. Verse 4. Rashi. And this is his Bible. Yeah, I mentioned Shabbat, by the way. Indeed, he bore our illnesses. Commentary. Like Hebrew. Indeed, he bore our illnesses. Then he's got a Hebrew word and says it's an expression of but. In all places. I, I don't know what he's talking about again. But now we see, well, you know, he's from about 1400 in the Middle Ages. And, and while he and Rambram were probably the most, some of the most intelligent men of their time, they don't have the knowledge that's in the world today. There weren't any colleges that I know of, maybe in medieval times, but definitely not in antiquity. There's never even been a school found in all the archaeological digs in Israel. There's never even been a school found. Okay, this is supposed to be, he, indeed, he bore our illnesses. But now we see that this came to him, not because of his low state, but that he was chastised with pains, so that all the nations be atoned, for with Israel's suffering. 
Jesus for Judaism uses this too. How about that for vicarious suffering? The Jews suffer so that the Gentiles would not be ashamed. Well, anyway, the Jews is all as one man. Uh, and again, Orbe or Jerusalem were chastised with pain so that the nations, the Gentiles, be atoned for with Israel's suffering. That's why Gary is suffering. That's not a teaching of God. All men die for their sins. There's not a Gentile out there, I don't care what they believe in, that is sin free. And there's only a heaven for the Jewish people. If they want to see heaven, the Gentiles, the Christians, they're going to have to convert to Judaism. And that's in these videos. They're not even allowed to go into the temple of God known as a house of prayer. Well, there's a video on it and a chapter. Well, apparently, I've heard Christians say that. And they even talk about building the third temple. I don't know why they can't go in it. Because apparently they can't read what a house of prayers is in the Hebrew Bible. God basically says, you got, to, you got to follow my covenant with the Jewish people and all of my laws. Now, the Jewish people derived 613 uh, laws from the Torah, the first five books. So you're talking about Gentiles practicing the 613, basically converting to Judaism if they want to go into the temple. Yeah, they don't need to be building a temple. They talk about it. You can find it on YouTube. Before you find it, you ought to watch the video I have on it or read the book. Nobody's reading the book. That kills me. But I do add a lot, too. I add a lot of extra ad-libbing commentary. And you get to see who I am. I'm not just some kook out here saying I'm God's righteous servant. And there's plenty of them on YouTube. Because they, they comment on my side. They call themselves Jesus or this or that. And they say all kinds of crazy things. And you, you think to yourself, I, I wonder if they're even right in the head. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Again, I stayed away from religious religious people. I'm just now really learning, especially all this making stuff up and false teaching. That's that's a surprise to me. Okay, all that was Rashi. Why did I make it sound like it was me? But then he was chastised with pain, so that all, oh yeah, this is definitely Rashi. So that all the nations be atoned. For with Israel suffering, I guess they're atoned for for being mean to the uh, Jewish people. Well, I'm going to take care of that with the rat. Me and God together. I just got to get the right, uh, uh, the people who are suffering from all this guilt for not practicing Judaism, get them straight, make them understand they may believe they have sins that cannot be forgiven. That's not so with the covenant that I bring. It's carte blanche, but it's only the sins that you've previously done. You still need to get back to synagogue, attend the high holidays, and go to Yom Kippur. And, and try to avoid the evil inclination. And then finally by Rashi, on this verse 4, Yet we accounted him. Commentary. We thought that he was hated by the omnipresent but he was not so but he was pained this would be the Jewish people gathered as one man he was pained because of our transgressions the Jewish people were pained by the transgressions of the Jewish people you cannot put Israel into Isaiah 53 they try and they try and they try you should see what Toby Singer did he went to a low level, unsurpassed by anybody else. Because of our transgressions and crushed because of our inequities. Okay, we thought, the Jewish people thought that the Jewish people 